let's pack an order have an order for Gwen in Carolina and so I'm getting this box together for our soap ends we sell our soap ends for a dollar per ounce which works out to be cheaper than um, our standard bar of soap is four ounces and that's about works out to be about two dollars per ounce but our soap ends you can try a sampler pack and try the different kinds of soap for a dollar per ounce and so Gwen ordered 15 ounces so we're gonna weigh it all out the first soap is our detox bar no time for tox and then there is some of the Juicy XL Vintage Candy Corn. It's a custom exfoliating bar. Let's see what else we'll put in here. That is, I believe it's Pine Tar Facial. That is Liberation. Uh, Lisa Frank. Prince Ali. That is another custom bar that's not on the website. That is Jafar, Genie, or Friend Like Me, Princess Jasmine, that one was Sana Sana, that one is an Amber Romance, Raw Oats and Honey, Try to reshuffle them and play a little Tetris. This is 15 ounces of soap, so about a pound of soap ends. Usually, you, I don't get this many um, soap ends requested, just a few bibs and bobs, but as many as you'd like, we will package it up and make it look as pretty as possible. So I just like to get it kind of organized in the box we have other boxes so if you order more they can go up to a higher size this order was right on the cusp All right, and that one is a lavender a French lavender the No Time for Tox, Sana Sana, and Raw Oats and Honey back in there. The exfoliating bar. And a herbal facial. And that brought us up to 15 ounces exactly. When you're ordering your um, soap ends, you can put a comment in if there's any particular soap that you are looking to try out. I will include it if we have any available. All right, we get our main box, the shipping box together for the rest of the order. And put in some tool in gold and brown colors. I just like the effect of this once the box is closed. A little bit of craft tissue paper. Here's my trick to make sure that it fits the exact right size. I fold it all up, not creasing it, but folding it up pretty neatly. Hold it right by the box and then just clip it. That way you're not cutting long crooked lines. And then it fits perfectly, just like that. All right, so we put in our soap in sample box. And I um, believe that was, I can't remember the other one, Strawberry Decadence. And I can't remember the other one, but we're gonna pack it with uh, craft, craft crinkle cut paper so that it doesn't shift around. 
Oh, there it is, sweet watermelon. Trying to pack it so that everything fits in neatly, but still looks nice. That looks good. A little more crinkle paper. I like my uh, boxes to be pretty secure so that when they get where they're going, I don't have to worry about too much. Unless the postal people just, you know, slam it and drop kick it, I think that the packing is secure. This is a sample bath bomb. It's a watermelon bath bomb sample. I'm trying to find the best way to package it without uh, crushing it or cracking it. And I, I have so many different shipping boxes and shipping configurations for the different things that I ship. I ship some really big orders, I ship some really small orders and lots of orders in between. So you just have to be able to be flexible and figure it out. Don't get frustrated if you don't have the one size fits all, one pack. Be flexible and you'll figure it out. Alrighty, I think that will be good. I just fold up the tissue paper and I fold over the tool and tuck it in. And I think that just looks nice when you get a package. And then I put in my signature sunflower, which I absolutely love. And then just tuck the box cover in. Seal it with a little bit of tape and a thank you sticker. Now this box will go into a UPS uh, mailer. I smush the ends, the corners, so that it can slide into the box well. That's another tip if you're a shipper smush the corners or else it won't go into the envelope smoothly you'll be struggling trying to stick it in there more than this struggle and then I'm covering up the name and the address on the packing slip but I always like to write little notes on my uh, packing slips I print them on A6, no, A5 sheets of um, craft cardstock, and I really just enjoy writing a little note to each person who orders from me. And stick that in there. The label is our, I put the label on already. And I stretch it to fit. And then I go back over it with tape to secure it. I would like my packages to be ultra secure. And I also do the bottom. That doesn't serve any kind of purpose aside from making the box look nice the way that I like it to look. And the label is on the top. And now it's all packaged up secure. You can shake it. You won't hear it move. It's ready for the post office. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe wherever you find us. We're going to be increasing our social media presence, so you'll be hearing more from us. You can also find us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all as uh, Thai Hair Soapery, and our website, www.tahairsoapery.com. All right, thank you guys. Shalom, shalom.